Hi Virgo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to 2020. A happy new year to you. Did you set resolutions? Have you set dedicate dedications? That's what I'm calling them. Decade dedications. I think that's just, yeah, it's, it's kind of perfect, right? With that said, Thank you for so much. Thank you so much for all of your support throughout the last year. And for those of you from before, if you are a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. Tribal Tuesday is back and goes live on, uh, uh, should I say, goes live in February. I also have another course that I'm releasing called Mindset Magic. It's all about manifestation. If you would like to be a part of that, spaces are limited for both of them, just 12 spaces per course. Um, they, those are there if you want to check them out in the link in the description box below. I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So as you can see, doing things slightly different here, right? It is a new year so we've got to switch it up and as you know I like to change my layouts every so often just to kind of keep it fresh. Uh, for everybody right <laughs> so your actions and interactions with the world at large this week you have the sun you have so many blessings waiting for you it kind of feels for me like this week is kind of like opportunity city for you what do you want to do the sun is good times it's good blessings you know on a really mundane level it's just a very happy week where you don't have any stress on the bigger grand scale, this could be something or someone coming into your life that makes a big change for the better. The sun is ultimate protection, it's life, it's joy, it's happiness, it's abundance. It's all of those things combined. It's optimism and joy. Have I said joy? <laughs> right, so this is beautiful. It looks for me as well like a big part of this is you are choosing to remain optimist, optimistic. No matter what happens this week on the wider world stage, no matter what happens in your personal vicinity or in your own personal world, it's kind of like you're saying, you know what, I'm going to remain optimistic. This uh, also, because this is about your path as well, right? Your actions and interactions with the world at large. The sun is shining a spotlight on you, right? So in some way, shape or form this week, Virgo, you are on the stage. So, you know, what that looks like to you or how it goes down for you is all obviously up to you and where you've come so far. Your communications with the world at large, you have the Hierophant card, right? So this is very often the establishment. It's the rules, the regulations, but the Hierophant in your communications, this could be a week where you're having big legal conversations. Um, I will say if you can get away with not signing anything, uh, the reason I say that because we do have that big eclipse on the 10th and then like literally at the end of this week on the 12th, um, Saturn and Pluto come conjunct, right? The conjunction is exact on the 12th, the 13th and the 14th, let's say. Um, so if you can kind of avoid putting anything in stone at that time, it would be great. Um, but the fact that you've got the Hierophant card means that this week you are having some pretty big conversations. The fact that this falls underneath the sun in some way, shape or form, the spotlight really is on you. Um, and the fact that you have this in your communications, you could be speaking to a professional. This could be a medical professional, a legal professional, um, somebody in a position of authority, you know, like a police officer. It could be any of those things, right? Uh, so really interesting. Um, I mean, the fact that you've got the sun card there, it means that there's some kind of resolution or revelation even for you. It just depends on your, you know, your unique situation. So your money and materials this week, you have the Queen of Wands. Now, this is really great, right? Because the Queen of Wands is all about... Um, she, well, she's ultimately, for me, when I talk about the Queen of Wands, especially as a an experience, this is about the boundaries, right? So this could be you looking at your finances, it could be looking at you increasing them. The Queen of Wands brings vibrancy, feistiness and energy to your, to whatever she touches. And the fact that she's here in the money and material sector with the Sun card, right? This could be a really good week for you to set a budget. It could be a really good week for you to get very clear on what your financial goals 
goals are for 2020 and the 10 years ahead. Uh, the fact that you've got the Hierophant card here, it kind of suggests that whatever you set into motion this week may very well have long lasting ripples. So just be sure about what it is that you're, you know, aligning to, connecting with, or kind of setting in motion, so to speak. But for the most part, the thing that I love about the Sun card is it offers that protective influence. It kind of gives you that you know, almost like a divine assistance to say, you know, I got you, you're going to be all right. Uh, <laughs> all right, jokes aside, your heart and half. Look at this, you've got the lovers. For those of you that are single, this is beautiful. I mean, this could really suggest, it might be that you meet somebody that worked in a professional field. It might be, you know, this could be a lawyer, a doctor, um, you know, it could be anybody that works in, you know, in possibly with a uniform, something of that nature. Uh, this looks really, really nice. And it could, it, I mean, the fact that you've got the lovers as well really does suggest that there is an alignment taking place between you and another. Uh, the fact that you've got the Queen of Wands here it could be a very sensual, very sexual time as well. For those of you that are partnered, you could be feeling a lot of these energies as well. But to take it a step further, this could be about you and your partner partner really deciding that you want more of what you have, right? So this could be across the board. This could be more finances, more abundance, uh, more children, uh, you know, more space in the home. It's like whatever you have, there's something about you this week that as a couple, you're saying, you know what, we want to expand this. We want to build this, which is a great energy under this week. But like I said, if you can hold off on signing anything sort of permanent, any document, you know, big sort of sweeping life change stuff. Stuff. It would be good if you could wait until sort of, you know, maybe next week. I think probably around the 15th will be better. So your key to the week is the tower card, right? You've just got to let the chips fall as they may this week, right? Come what may, you just need to allow things to take place as they're going to happen. Um, I mean, the tower always brings big realizations, huge sweeping changes. And very often it's the cracking of an, an illusion. We have a, a big internal sort of shift in energy because we have a big realization. When you have a big realization, the current paradigm that that you're living in can no longer survive it's just not possible because the you know once an illusion cracks it's done right it relies on you believing that it's reality in order for it to perpetuate the tower card is kind of shaking some of those structures down around you this week and it's interesting as well because the sun is currently in capricorn which is offering a trine energy to your own sign so that's quite beneficial you know it's quite a an easier energy compared to what everybody else is going to be facing with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know. Do you love it? Do you loathe it? it does it work for you? Is this, you know, do you want more of it? I mean, this is going to be the way it is for a while, but I would love to hear your opinions either way. Take care and I'll see you soon.